hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the William the Conqueror playthrough as we now continue as William's grandson, the young King Simon, who is a legitimate genius. Uh, so we've managed to get that trait in the family, which is good stuff indeed. Uh, he's an absolute diplomatic beast as well. And he is trying to expand his rule in an effort to get closer to forging that empire that we so desperately need and want. Now, can we uh, get a claim on you, young man? Let's get Galway then. Who can we actually declare war on? Only the uh, Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire at the moment. He has actually picked up Wow, we can pick up this for my brother-in-law. Does that mean it would go to us? Right, if we won, he gains the contested title. But this is not going to make it join us, surely? Unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think it would. Uh, what about the French king? Any chance of taking a little bit more of his land? There is the opportunity to. There is the opportunity. Let's have this hunt and increase our prestige a little bit. Because we are near to Illustrious now, which would be helpful. And get some gold. Or get more friendly with the Pope or Duke of Kent. Now the Duke of Kent is actually quite powerful so I think we'll go for the friendship with him. There is a petty king of Leinster. We picked up that so that's near enough put us towards Illustrious. What's the succession? Confederate partition. Partition we can do for 500. Let's go ahead and do that now. Liberty faction has disbanded. That's good stuff. Um, now the Scots, we actually don't have a claim on. So we can either go for the Scots or we can go for... Petty Kingdom of Sudrea. We have gone up to Illustrious, which is good. Ah, what can we usurp? The Petty Kingdom of Lathion. Not much point in us doing that, to be honest. It would give us a de jure claim, though, on that. So for that purpose alone, I might as well grab that. Go to war with you. Okay. Who's in charge here? You are. I will give you this petty kingdom. And I will go to war for this for you. So that we can grab a little bit more land from the Scots. Because we're not going to be doing much else in terms of expansion at the moment. Simon is still very young, so he's got lots that he can do. Right, go and kill him. Just chase him down. Ah, King Waldive of Scotland is facing my Count, who is an absolute beast. We actually did pick up the King already. He's not really got much money, so I think it's more worth getting that quick war done and dusted. Disbanding the troops. We get a favoured hook on you, which is good. Oh, we also picked up a duke. Awesome. 
So meanwhile, we're continuing our attempt to get the claim here. Our wife's helping us with research. And what are we researching at the moment? We are currently researching heraldry to try and get high partition. That'll be quite good. Financially, our income is pretty good as well. I don't think there's any financial buildings I can upgrade as of yet. So the economy is not too bad. There is a one independence person, actually, which is a little bit disappointing. Foreign affairs... Ah, that would have been helpful. When you've got enough money, then we'll let you go. Petty Kingdom of Munster. Apparently I can uh, declare war on you for this. Which we will definitely do. It would be nice to try and get as much of Ireland as possible right now. Particularly whilst we've got this absolute beast that is Count Odric. He is just a complete tank. Can we siege this? We can siege this. We actually have good siege equipment. Uh, I think our next one to try and get would probably be... What have we got? We've got mangonels, okay. Ah, he's called in some allies. That's fine, I'm not particularly worried about them. They're all kind of split off anyway, so I think... If necessary, we could... Uh, we can deal with them in a head-on battle. You're 56 and your health is wailing. It'd probably be good if you died pretty soon. Because you're not the best. Right, now let's try. And uh, attack you. If we can. Damn it, he got away. Yeah, it's going to be a nice, easy victory for us. And then we might as well go all the way over. And start sieging other people. I guess, actually. It's 20 gold worth there. Yeah, let's just siege Thomond. Because we might as well for the minute. Uh, meanwhile, London. Ah, the Tower of London is now built. That's going to give us a nice increase to our taxes. This place just needs more more uh, money, so we'll save up a little bit. Not going to take us long to siege here at all. So, I mean, the northern borders of Ireland will then be ours, which would be nice. But we're not going to get the uh, request on Ireland. Let's get some more Marshall. Why not? We picked up a valuable hostage. That is actually enough to win us the war. Now, I don't want the uh, Irish capital or the Irish keep. What have you got? You've got one county. Let's give you this as well. There you go. Congrats. 
We can actually create the Duchy of Ulster. Not really going to benefit me though. Because it's not going to get us that du jour claim, so I'm not going to press on with that. Your ally is pretty weak, so we'll take on this, and then we can go to war with you to get Galway. Oh, we don't have the prestige. Bloody hell. Hmm. Right, that's a problem. We, uh, we certainly need to press on with the prestige front. Wales or Kent? Let's get Kent. He seems like a half decent bloke. Hospitality. Philip of France. Uh, we kind of have been at war with you. You were going to go to war with. None of these are that good. Appeasing vassals is far better. The Earl of Dorset are trying to win our favour. Nice. We're losing a little bit of stress. Ah, good. Our wife's pregnant. Preferably a son would be good. Uh, and it would also be quite helpful to get a lot of prestige. Yeah, we're not going to use that on her. We did pick up Evil Reveler though, so that's going to be helpful for our prestige at the very least. That's a 1.5 increase, that's a 0 0.3 increase, so we're going to invest in this. Build up the manor houses in London. Lose a little bit more stress, so we're on the all cleared there. Uh, have we got enough now to go to war? Uh, we do. We only need 112. So let's go ahead and take this. He can't promote the culture anymore, so let's keep spreading it. So it's done all down there. Surrey and Kent. Sussex needs to be done. But the southern border is doing fairly well. It's up north. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Now my daughter's going for stewardship. Who has got good stewardship? None of us really. I think we'll train her ourselves just for now. God, this guy's so slow with the cash. We'll just take 25 gold from him and be done with it. He's making no money at all. Berkhamstead. You need to keep building. Okay. So we'll try and upgrade the hamlets here. Oh, nice. We've had a son. Unfortunately, he didn't get the genius trait, but he is quick. He's showing a proficiency for stewardship. But I think I want to go down the diplomacy tree again. I'm quite enjoying trying out the diplomacy tree. And hopefully we can prevent this siege from transform. Yeah, we can. That'll be a nice, easy victory for the Duke of Kent. Excellent. And we can pick up a forced vassalization. Might be helpful. We'll also ransom this mayor. Try and entice my vassal. Not sure if it will work, but we'll give it a good go.
And then a three month siege there will probably do it for us, really. London is a slow burner to upgrade. Oh yeah, how are we doing on this? Four years, okay, that's not too bad. We can host a feast, which we really need to do, because our prestige is just abysmal. It'd be good for him to get to the next level as well of re Reveler. Duchess Avelina becomes our friend, that's good. Oh wow, bonded at the feast. That's our feast done. Uh, we can have a hunt in a couple of years. Let's get our young son being educated by us. Right, that's taken us to 96. I think if we can kill him, that'll probably do it for us in terms of this war. And then Galway will be ours. Right, he's trying to escape again, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Petty King Haldor, but... You're not going to lose us. Now, what I can do is ransom you for that gold. Because I know we'll get that. Plus the extra 50. Now we can enforce the demands. Picked up this place, which is part of Strathclyde. I guess let's give it to you. Because I certainly don't want it. So we're expanding nicely. How close are we to the Empire of Britannia? 63. Ten more counties and we're there. That's not bad at all. Ooh, and there's a new king in uh, Bonnie Old Scotland. What do we want? Do we want that or do we want that? That's a lot better keep constructed in Colchester so we can upgrade here let's upgrade the tax buildings try and increase our economy a little bit no factions at all we can go on a pilgrimage which wouldn't be too bad but I think who are you? What's your claim? Nah. Not interested. Thank you. Good day. King of France. I can declare war for a county of Anjou. And why is that? Is that because Anjou is... Actually, Anjou would be quite good. We do in the majority, and then we could usurp the duchy. We've got, only got 4,000 troops. I think we do this. That is a lot. Mm. Oh, crap. I can go for the entirety of France. For 450. Why do we not do that? We should 100% do that, but I guess... Well, yeah, we can do that. Then we just have to keep the kids to the minimum. I guess we are considered English. Is there a Kingdom of Aquitaine yet? There is not. The papacy, though, has picked up this. Randomly. Um, so succession is not going to change. My kid is sickly at the moment. Not particularly liking that. 
Our wife is our soulmate, so that's good. Gain a bunch of prestige, that's helpful. So we actually have enough prestige to get the Kingdom of France if we want it. I mean, it's very, very tempting. Very tempting. Who can I declare war on right now? Brittany. I can declare war on Leinster. Ooh. That's a lot of counties for us. That's a lot of counties for us. I can get you. I suppose we might as well grab you whilst we can. Because you've not got too much. Our prestige is only going to go up. Plus we can actually have a, a hunt in a year. So the aim being that we get enough prestige to hopefully get all those Irish counties as well. Okay, wow, we took him hostage already. Any chance of a decent bit of gold? Yeah, there's 100 gold there, so I'm going to continue the war. Too much not to. I could feasibly upgrade some pretty nice buildings there for that. Could think about getting some more Huskals or maybe another batch of bowmen. I certainly think we can just press on and keep trying to get as much of the UK whilst we can because he's still young, he's 30. As long as we can become emperor, doesn't really matter how many kingdoms we gain. Right, he won't pay that, so let's just end it. So now we only need nine. You can't declare war on. You we can declare war on, but it's going to cost us a lot. Call to war by Provence against Burgundy. We'll say yes, but we won't participate. Have to wait till April for this. Any chance of more prestige? I could change focus for more prestige actually. Let's do that. Try and get more prestige quicker. Also get a physician because my, my son's been ill. And I don't want him dying on us. Wow, she's great. She's absolutely fantastic. Uh, have we got the money for this? No, it's 550. That would pay for an upgraded keep, though. Let's upgrade Bedford, then. So she's happy with us. Uh, most of my vassals are fairly happy with us. I actually can't sway you. Okay. Who are we allies with? Provence, Sweden. We actually don't have too many allies. She can keep content, which is pretty good. I 
I definitely want to try and get these counties in Ireland because that's going to go a long way to us being able to get a claim here. Uh, Count Herlin would lose a little bit. I get some diplomacy though. I can gain some piety, that's fine. I need that prestige though. Is that enough? It is just about enough. 6,000 troops though we're going to need. Which is actually quite a lot. I haven't got the prestige to call you guys in. So what we're going to have to do is raise more than the local. Basically raise whatever you can. And that ought to do it really. About 8,000 should do it. Right, head in, try and grab it for us. Go and kill him off the bat if you can. Actually don't know where he's running off to, but he seems to be running. He has gained bossy. Nice. Uh, yep, grab that as well, because that's another chance for us to uh, gain more lands. Okay, that's actually quite good. Another battle here is not bad at all. Bit of administration, that gets us more holding taxes. How long is it going to take us here? Three months. Okay. That's doable. Ah, France is... France is okay, actually. Duchy of Champagne, though, is coming my way. Which shouldn't be an issue, but... Might just be slightly annoying. Yeah, they're sieging my Norman provinces, I think. No, where are they sieging? Ah, they're sieging up there. I think that's fine. We can let them crack on with that. Oh, fantastic. We actually captured enough that uh, that will get ended. Good stuff. So that is half of Ireland now ours. Which is exactly what we wanted. We need to be able to hold a feast soon. Get the troop count up. This chap, not the happiest of bunnies. So we'll try and sway him. Just to get him to like us. We can also go to war with you. But I need 90 prestige. Don't have the prestige right now. Uh, how many more counties do we need? Four more. God, it's 800 gold. Do I own the Kingdom of Wales then? Yeah, so we need 800 gold to create it. That's okay because we're nearly at 250. So we can use the piety to get more money from the Pope. 
And I can actually claim this once we reach 90. So feasibly next episode we could be on with a chance to uh, to become an Emperor of Britannia. The first time I will have actually formed the uh, Empire of Britannia. Ah, oh, even better, we could do this with 112. We can get this county, we can get that county, and we just need one more. Perfect, and we got some prestige because of my wife. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, the papacy's just taken a crap ton of France. I do not know what happened there, but that's not good for him. Interesting. Well, for now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode here. England is nearly going to become an empire. London has nearly upgraded its construction farms at the uh, <laughs> beginning of the episode that we started. So we'll take a, a county from Scotland, we'll take Connacht, and maybe we'll be able to take something from Munster. Actually, to be fair, if we took three counties from Munster, that would be it. That would be all we need. So next episode, it looks guaranteed that we will form ourselves the Empire of Britannia. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hello.